So this week we've got an Airstream Globe Trotter. It's a very beautiful rig. And we're gonna try and fit 560 amp hours of battery in that bay, plus a multi plus 3000 solar charger. What else? Battery monitor, Lynx distributor. Let's go with a mini fridge and uh, maybe uh, an inflatable pool. Maybe a kitchen sink too, yeah. you never know. So we're gonna go and explore uh, the inside and see what we gotta do to make it all work. So what we've got to try and do in here, this is a uh, two, two bed situation. We've got uh, this panel pulled up here. This is where the inverter and RV panel is. Uh, we've got this entire bay back here and we're gonna try and make some more space where the water heater is. However, the first thing we need to do is try and get this white cover up. And I don't know if you can see in there, there's two screws that are under this cabinet. So we're gonna have to get creative on how we how we deal with that. All right, I'll be done with this by lunch. Painstaking craftsmanship. See if this thing lifts free. Oh, you got your drill there. It's gonna be a little tight because those screws are still sticking up, but it should. Start sliding. Unless there's another hidden screw in here. All right, JD got that out all by himself. Yeah. This is the space we have to work with now. So we're probably gonna have to cut a hole there. Well, we'll see. We're gonna be able to buy a little bit of space from here. We gotta fit multi plus. Uh, yeah, plus everything else. We'll see. All right, I'm not sure where we left off, but let's do a quick update here. Got this compartment empty. And, uh, we're getting it done in here. And uh, I've been at work doing something. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but we've got this uh, compartment completely cleaned out. We uh, put some cable wrap, on the, all those wires clean that up and so there used to be a board right about yeah here you can see it so this is all storage space you could use if you've got one of these and you don't you, and you're not even doing this you can get some more storage space out of this easy and uh then here we're still hoping to get the battery in here the plan is since we've got wires coming up out of the floor is to uh build a false floor up and let most of the wires still run underneath there and then uh yeah make a new platform to put our battery on and we're gonna have to get creative in how we configure that but that's what we live for i guess and then i'm in the middle of pulling the uh 30 amp ac cables here i got them out fished it there's a little chase on the for the uh water goes there all the way Right under there, pops out right there. And we can uh, then sneak that from there all the way over there. And then we're good to go. It's another beautiful day, working on the Airstream. Uh, we've done quite a bit since we last talked. We've got stuff going on in here. And uh, we've got no batteries there, uh-oh, so. We're gonna have to uh, connect some things up there. That's one of my jobs today. Uh, real quick, something I wanna talk about. I don't wanna throw stones at Airstream too much, but when you only do one crimp like that, that can happen. See this, it just pulled out. That should not happen. So I'm gonna recrimp these. Actually, I'm gonna recrimp them all. So just something to keep in mind when you're working on your stuff. Do multiple crimps and I'm gonna heat shrink tube this. Let's take a look inside. We don't have many lights on in here yet. Uh, so yeah, quick update there. I got uh, everything landed there without a problem. Uh, what else we got going on here? So this is, it may look like a mess, but believe me, when you open this up from the factory, it doesn't look much better. 
Here's our custom 560 amp hour battery right here. 300 amp BMS. So that's 560 amp hours of battery right there. You might be able to get two Battleborns in that space. Maybe three GC2 batteries. Uh, and then we relocated the uh, DC panel there. Well, I'm gonna shoot straight with you on this project. Um, I would call it a successful failure. Uh, it's been a number of days, probably since our last video update, we've been waiting on solar panels. They were supposed to arrive, but there was, again, some kind of shipment exception. The pallet has been lost. It was supposed to be here a week ago. So, we talked with the customer. Uh, we we're gonna finish the battery inverter part of it. They're gonna roll with the 90 watts that's on there from Airstream. They're gonna make the best of it and we're gonna try and take care of it as soon as we can. Uh, I'm a big believer in being honest. Uh, not every project goes well. Any company can put out their best. This is real life, this is reality, and this is what happens sometimes. But I can show you how we're gonna take care of it. And so what we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna install it, install what we have, and try and make it right as soon as we can because some of this stuff is outside of our control. We're doing the best we can. So without further ado, let's talk about what we did do. We've got this bay all finished up, pretty much finished up. Look at that beautiful footage in there, huh? Oh, we do have, here, let's turn this light off. Yeah, we do have some auxiliary lighting going on. Maybe we should do light. Right now it's blue. Yeah, it's too bright out here, but we are getting a little bit of auxiliary lighting in there. If it's darker out, you'd see more. But it's a it's a nice little touch. I'm currently charging up the batteries. I did a load test earlier. It came out great. Uh, let's go inside. Oh no! Before we go inside, so this is kind of how it turned out up front. No batteries there. We've It's been raining all week too, to make matters worse. So now we've got storage here that the customer can use for whatever. Put a weather tight box in there, just put stuff that it's not a big deal if it gets wet. Customer can do whatever they'd like. And we routed all the wiring that was in there around it and up in there. And we didn't cut any of these wires, just uh, bolted them together on the lugs and heat shrinked them. So all this can be undone later if need be. And we also retain the Zamp solar plug. So that will still work. And look at it, this storage is still retained. And as you can see here, there's plenty of room for storage in here. Uh, I mean, like, they didn't lose much storage, I'll be honest. So what I really wanted to update on was how we're going to secure down this battery bank and uh, I also put some cable wrap around the terminals or around the, all the bus bars because we start getting higher voltages up here as best I could just in case something were to fall down in there and uh, so here's the plan can't there's not really room for a cable strap or anything the strap that you do see here is just for lowering it in or pulling it out we used that to lower it in and thought, well, let's just leave it in there in case it ever needs to come out. Thinking ahead. We are, we're thinking about future us or future somebody else like us. So I made uh, this as like a little hold down board. It's going to go like that. And then push that down. Screw that into right here. There's plenty of meat there. And that's going to hold, that'll hold the battery for moving this way. Then, got another board here. This is gonna go like that. Screw into here. And then we've got uh, the platform that we built. I don't know if we talked about that before, but we did build a platform for this battery to sit on. And we will screw that down there into the edge of the platform. You can see that piece of wood there. And then that should keep the battery secure. And then, yeah, so, I mean, 560 amp hours 
and they still kept a ton of storage. I'm really happy with how this came out. I got to button this up. Customers coming by today to pick up uh, what we have done. They're, it's not going to stop them. And with that much battery power, they can boondock all weekend. No problem. And it's probably going to work out fine because it's cloudy and rainy anyway. So, yeah, like I said, I'll put, I got to button all this up and then we'll uh, check back in on the final. All right, here's the, uh, the battery. That is actually more secure than I imagined it would be. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. I wouldn't consider myself a great carpenter, but good enough. So now it's going to be starting to, I think I'm going to start putting all the covers back on. A week later, we were able to get the panels in and installed. And we think it came out great. So if you need any solar or off-grid help with your RV, uh, we can help you by installing it, selling it to you, or just consulting and uh, helping you install it yourself. So check it out at sotasolar.com, S-O-T-A, solar.com. Thanks for watching.